guys, welcome to DRG TV. I'm Matt, this is Daz. Um, for those of you who saw our challenge video we did where we made some terrain, uh, I'd like to show you what I did to mine about three minutes after Paul uploaded it. I lost my temper, and I, not that I'm known for this, I'm normally a very calm person. <laughs> but I, 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 I took mine off the base and threw a strop, so that can now go over there. Um, what I said to Daz was that his was so much better because he could do, I, I couldn't do that, I can't paint like that. And, well, you basically tell us what someone showed me, so I'm going to show you. Yeah. And um, we've got a new camera rig that we're going to try out as an excuse. So rather than the usual, here's, I can do this and I'm going to film it and put it on YouTube. What we're going to do is, I've never done it before anything more complicated than pretty much the old school way of painting found it spray paint spray paint it's it dry brush it right. show it a highlight if you can be bothered and call it a day uh and then cheat with um geek gaming's basing kits because well they're brilliant though i'm, I'm not actually gonna apologize for that no. right um so i'm gonna make this tube which is based in the same way look like this one. So, do you want to talk us through what toys we've got there? Yeah. Well, first off, cheap paint from uh, the works. What is it? It's, a, it's, a it's burnt umber. Burnt umber acrylic. And then a lighter brown model colour or anything you want to sponge over the top of that. And then a orange and a silver highlight afterwards. And these are just both game colour, are they? Yes. Yeah. Don't suppose it makes any no, difference. It makes as, long, difference. As, long as, as long as they're acrylic paints. Yeah, and just what I have. And I, I like the dropper bottles. Fantastic. Um, you don't need a brush, just using a sponge. Again, that was um, a cheap sponge from... Um, this is this is, this is is that packaging. It is, yes. Um, um, this one From Fingers Cases? Yeah. This one was uh, the works pound for a, a decent pack. And then a Job. palette and yeah, jobs are good. And then some kitchen towel sort just of stuff. In case. Right then, what do I do first? Take your brush, uh, your pipe, sorry, yep. Not brush, Jesus. Um, squirt some ac acrylic paint onto it. On into here? Into the pipe. Yeah, that'll that work. looks like chocolate sauce. That makes me quite happy. Then sponge away. You're looking to cover about probably yeah, get it. Good, good load on it. Then wipe a bit off. Onto the yeah, just dab it off. You're looking to cover about ninety to ninety-five percent of the pipe. Okay. Just dab away that thing. Just keep, just keep turning the sponge as you do it. Different variations in the pattern as you put it. Make sure there's some of the lighter brown showing through. Not too much, too no, little. That's looking good. Well, stop there. Uh, next, squirt a little bit of the lighter brown onto the palette in a different place. So we've got some caramel to go with my chocolate sauce mm. now. Now, other end of the sponge, we get. No, no. Just no? dab some of that off again and then just go in with it. Because it acts a bit like a wet palette, so you can mix as you go along. Keep all the variations of brown. So, don't need to wait for this dry? No. And then a bit more. Get it. This, you're looking at covering maybe 60% of the pipe now in the uh, newer colour, the lighter brown. This doesn't seem to be showing up. Do I need to. Yeah, put a bit more on them. Did it there, aren't I? Nah, don't worry about it. Then keep turning it so you get different. Just mix 
makes such a lovely texture on it. Yeah, well, that's alright, isn't it? And next is a brighter orange. Or or you could go in with... Um, that looks pink. Yeah, it's fine. A mix, another mix both together, make a, a third brown. So I'm assuming it's essential to cover your thumb at the same time, yeah? Yeah, obviously. Yeah, that's a big part of it. Alright, and then I'm doing the same with this. Yeah. Uh, this I would use to tear a bit of your sponge off. Um, and then go in uh, very lightly, only in selected areas. There you go. That's better. And that's the one we want. So, just to recap, guys, that's... Macarius, so that doesn't exist anymore, does it? It doesn't. Yeah, there'll be an equivalent if you check the, the Citadel paint out. Oh, yeah, there we go. That, you don't need much coverage of the orange. A little bit more of that. This is definitely not how to do it by getting it out of the sponge, but. Uh -huh. As long as you keep turning the sponge as you do it, so yeah, I realize, but so, there, I had there I was practically like printing, wasn't I? Like, it was yeah. getting the same design. Okay, and you let it dry now, and afterwards, you can very lightly sponge a bit of silver on it here and there, make it look a bit, a bit more metallic y. There you go, as if my magic some time has passed. Right, so onto the silver. Okay. So this is a very, very light um, dabbing of silver, mainly around where the orange is, and I like to go around the ends. I need to give it a good squeeze. This makes it look a bit more, a bit older and dishevelled. Oh, good word use. Great word use. Yeah, just very lightly keep turning it as you do it. You know, less is more. You can always add more. You can't take it away, really. This is just putting a metallic tinge to it. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, there's hardly anything going on on there. And voila, you have a rusty pipe in minutes. There we are. Well, what was that? Including drying time? Including drying five time. Five minutes. Five minutes, easy. Five, five minutes. And um, yeah, obviously, we plop a bit of bit of sand, bit of, sand, bit of brown, a bit of, bit of flock, and it'd be well away. So, obviously, that's the original one we're copying. And that's why I've done. It's not quite the same, but obviously different sponges, different pipes. Yeah, I'm quite happy with that for five minutes' work. It's great. Yeah, as I say, once it's all um, blocked up, it'll look quite smart. So, there we go. That is considerably better than my uh, mess I made. So, if you think, again, if anyone decides to give that a go, um, share it with us on our Instagram or so there's a link on here or anything like that we'd love to see it we'd like to show off what other people have been doing on our instagram page so give that a follow obviously like subscribe the video leave a comment explaining why darren's was still better than mine and uh yeah see you for the next one thanks guys Bye.